Okay, so today we are going to be looking at replacing the hard disk that we've got in um, a Dell Optiplex 3050. So this is an i5 machine, 8 gig of memory, 500 gig hard disk. Um, it's going to a customer, but obviously what we want to do is we want to make the machine as fast as possible. So we are going to replace the hard disk inside with a 250 gig um, SSD drive. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll boot the PC up, we'll remove this, be useful to note the boot up time here because um, we're going to hope to improve it <clears throat> by doing a clone. Okay so here's the, uh, the disc. So Western Digital Blue, um, perfect for desktops. Being very careful not to damage it, we'll open this up. Like so. So that's the drive. The next thing, um, I'm going to connect it to the PC using this um, StarTech uh, USB 3 SATA cable so that just connects straight in here like so as you can see the PC is still booting up there we go it's just starting up now <coughs> And then once we've got it connected, um, we're going to use a piece of software called uh, Macrium Reflect. So it's uh, it's free for um, home users um, and for basic operations. So I'm going to be just using the disk clone option in it. We're going to clone the hard disk and all the partitions, which is twice the size, but um, significantly. Uh, a smaller amount of data so it's not using the 500 gig obviously it's using about 20 or 30 gig we're going to clone all the partitions and all the data onto this drive and then we're going to install that drive into the PC here disconnect the hard disk and check the boot up times okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to plug it into a USB 3 port to get the, the benefits of um, the performance. Now you won't be able to see um, any of the data because it's completely empty, there's no volumes on there, there's no partitions or anything. So just to make sure, there we go, so 438 gig free of 464 and the drive is not visible so we're going to go into this is a, a build that I've done by the way so uh, the standard build I put on Macrium Reflect so we're going to start that up it needs to run as administrator obviously Okay, so you can see the new disk here, disk 2. Uh, this is disk 1, which is the operating system. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to say I want to clone this disk, because that's got the tick by it. So I'm going to clone this disk, but I don't want the, um, the backup image. don't need that. So I've just got the ESP partition, uh, the unformatted partition, and then the C drive, and then... We're going to select a disk to clone to. So if you select a different disk, your current operations will be discarded. That's fine. <clears throat> and this is the disk that we're going to select. So it hasn't got any existing partitions on. We're going to say clone the partition properties. And we're going to clone these three partitions onto the disk. We know there's insufficient space. Ah, sorry. Yes, I didn't 
didn't deselect that. So uh, let's go back, we'll cancel that operation, we'll do it again. Clone this disk. We want to select that disk, but we want to untick the tools. So, so we've got the three partitions there. Yep, so we're saying we're going to clone it without BitLocker because we can switch that on afterwards. And we're not going to schedule it. This is the operation. So, operation one, the ESP partition, the no name partition, and then the volume C drive. Click on finish. OK, that, and that will take round about, uh, take round about 20 minutes to complete. So I'll leave it running, you can uh, watch it. Uh, I will speed up the video. Okay, that's good timing, so that's completed. 24 minutes to clone all of that. Okay, so we can shut the computer down now. Uh, next thing we need to do is we're going to close it down, we'll open up the computer, we'll disconnect the hard disk, and we'll plug in the SSD drive and see how that performs in terms of startup. Okay, so that's shut down, so we'll disconnect that, unplug the drive, and then on the back of the Optiplex, there's two screws, and just slacken them off. Okay, so the lid just slides back, lifts off, I'll pop that down there, and then you've got, uh, we'll just disconnect the power first of all, you've got the power going into the drive, disconnect that, and then the data cable, data cable into the SSD, power into the SSD, pop that on the top, power cable, Back in. Excuse me. Oh, get it. It's on the side. There we go. And then we're going to power up. So we'll see how this, how quick this. Remember how long the drive took to spin up. Let's see how long this takes to boot. So I go through the bias check. Are there <laughs> super fast and we'll just log in so it's a significant improvement on boot up time um, and the customer is going to be extremely happy so that's all there is to it basically. So if you found this video useful, um, don't forget to like it and also if you can subscribe to our channel because we'll put more and more stuff up like this uh, as we go forward. We've also got some great videos on there if you want to check it out. And uh, hope to catch up with you soon. So all that's left for me to do is once that's powered off, 
which it is, is disconnect that. The reason I'm reconnecting the hard disk at the moment is because I'm waiting for some three and a half inch uh, cages to arrive um, where I can mount the disk and then that will just fit straight into that slot there. Um, so let's get the cover back on. Like that. So that just pushes forward, clips in. Two screws there to do up. And that's it. So hope you found it useful. As I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, thanks for watching.